This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. On December 12th, we have our winter congregational meeting. And one of the things that happens every December in this congregation um, and is, is vital to the work of, um, of congregationalist congregations like ours where the highest authority is the gathered membership voting, uh, is that every December the congregation votes on the congregational budget for the coming year. So we'll vote on that at the, um, at the congregational meeting on the 12th. Between now and then you'll have two opportunities. First, this Thursday night at 7 o'clock, I'm sorry, at 7.30 this Thursday night on Zoom to ask questions about it and also this Sunday, December 5th, at 7 o'clock, also on Zoom. We'll have links to both of those things in this e-blast. For now, though, I'm going to turn it over to our Congregational Treasurer, Teresa Forsman, uh, who's put together a summary of where we are with the budget that we're, we're bringing to the congregation. I should also say that uh, the draft budget is available online. Uh, we'll have a link to it as well in our e-blast. So with that, over to Teresa. Good morning. The 2022 budget that the Board of Trustees is recommending to the congregation is $479,317. This represents an increase of just under 6% compared with the 2021 budget. This is basically the rate of inflation that we've been seeing in the headlines for the last few months. We have notable increases in our health insurance, dental insurance, and um, like most people in the congregation, we're going to see higher heating bills this winter. On the income side, I'm really happy to report that in the fourth quarter of 2021, we've had robust pledge and donation payments, which along with our earlier Paycheck Protection Program grant has pushed our 2021 income past 100% of budget. So congratulations to us. This small windfall, uh, combined with some lower than expected expenses for 21, because we were out of the building, um, expenses for such things as childcare and some of our fellowship programs that happen in the church, those were lower for 2021. So the combination of a little more income than expected and lower expenses than expected means that we expect to end this current year with a surplus, um, approximately $50,000. So congratulations again to us. Um, the 2022 budget includes approximately $20,000 of this surplus on the income side. Our pledges and attributable donations in the budget for 2022 are approximately the same as for 2021. I wanted to let you know that um, there's one line, EO9145, in the budget for $1,006. It represents a transitional salary for administrative director it covers the extra five hours a week that our member admin coordinator will be working from April 1st through June 30th to cover the sabbatical for our administrative director. Uh, any discussion of our 2022 budget really needs to mention Bruce Raymer, who offered a $10,000 matching donation in the last days of the pledge campaign to help encourage our members to raise their pledges 
And I'm happy to report that our congregation earned that $10,000. Thank you to Bruce. Thank you to all of our members who are helping our church get where we want to go in the coming year. If anyone has any questions about the budget, I am more than happy to talk about it. Just reach out to me by email or phone, and um, I'd be glad to talk about the budget. Thank you.